All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson four. And in this lesson, students are going to be naming points. They're going to be plotting points. All of this, of course, on the coordinate grid. We're going to be doing it in a fun way. We're going to be playing Battleship. Uh, but I'm also going to show you a different kind of game in case you want to play that as well. So let's get started. So the game I uh, have is, or I'm thinking about, is called In, On, Out. In, on, out, all right? That's the name of the game. And the idea is you as a teacher, you're going to set up uh, a game board, which, of course, is just the quadrant one. And I'm going to label this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And let's do again this way, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, I have deliberately... Uh, done this so that we have some halves. We have some fractions. Of course, parents and teachers, if you want to make the game a little bit more difficult, you can spread this out to, to be thirds or quarters. So the idea would be, uh, I as a teacher, now I'm going to have to do this um, on a separate piece of paper so the students don't see this, but I'm going to let you see it right now. What I'm going to do is I am going to draw somewhere a rectangle, and I'm going to make sure the vertices are on the grids, right? And so, oh, let's do in blue, and I'll say I want the grid to be here. I mean a vertice there, um, there, there, and there. So there is my rectangle and oh let's let's make it let's highlight it as well let's do black okay so here is the rectangle now this happens to be a square but we say I have drawn a rectangle and this area of this rectangle is four now how is this four well because the distance the length right here is two I know it looks like it's four, but the, remember, those are halves. So that's two by two, and two times two is four. So I'm going to tell the students that the area of our rectangle, our hidden rectangle, is four square units. And now that's all they know as your students. That's all they know is that the area is four square units. So they don't get to see this stuff right here. Now, the students have their little game boards right here, and they can record their own guesses as we go. But you'll have your students say, uh, your, your students will call out a point. And so let's say a student calls out a point, and, oh, let's say the student says, uh, one, 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 comma, one. So where is one, comma, one? Well, one, comma, one is right here, and I'll put a dot. And I would say, as their hint, I would say out because it is outside of the rectangle. And then they would guess again, and they would say, oh, how about 3, comma 3? And I'm just kind of speeding things along here a little bit. 3, comma 3. Now, where is 3, comma 3? Well, 3, comma 3 is right there. So what would be the clue? I would say, ah, in. So the students ideally are keeping track of the, the guesses as well on their own game board. And if we say, all right, if a student were to say, how about uh, two and a half and uh, two, right there. So two and a half, two. And that would be, let's see, two and a half, two. And I would say, oh, okay. Well, where is two and a half two? Well, two and a half two would be right here. That clue would be on. I'd say on. So there's the kinds of clues. The dot is either going to be outside of the rectangle, it's going to be in the rectangle, or it's going to be on the rectangle. In, on, out. There you go. And then the idea is the students are going to continue guessing their their points and plotting their points so that they can figure out the winner is the first student who can correctly identify the four vertices of the rectangle. In this case, it happens to be a square. If you want to make this problem a little easier, you can say it's a square with an area 
of four square units. And that's the idea. So what students do when they are in the process of recording their guesses, oftentimes what they'll do is they'll label this O as in out. They'll label this X as in on. And they'll label this I as in in. And they will just continue uh, recording either circles, O's for out, X's for on, and I's for in. And they can just keep, keep going and collecting and then using logic to figure out the four vertices of that rectangle. Just a quick little game. I've played it with uh, students every, every, from every grade level from fifth grade through eighth grade. And they dig it. It's fun. It's a fun, fun, fun game to play. Now, the game as described in Eureka Math is Battleship. It's that classic Battleship game where students um, over here record where they want to put their ships. And they will record them with probably dots. And they zoom in and say, okay, let's do, um, let's create an aircraft carrier, which is five. So we'll create our aircraft carrier. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, and you get the idea. And then as they're doing this, uh, so they've created their ships over here, and I don't know, let's just say our ships are battleship four. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's do a cruiser. Three, one, two, three, and let's do a submarine. One, two, three, and then a patrol boat, tiny little patrol boat. Oh, let's do two, one, two. All right, so there's our one, two, three, four, five boats that I've located uh, for my, my ships. And then, of course, I'm going to record my guesses, my attack shots over here. I'm also going to record it here. Now, why do we do both? Well, we record them both because we want our students to continually practice recording the point and then plotting the point. For example, if they were to say, let's say uh, our intervals, let's do halves as well. So let's say our intervals were 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, and remember, we are recording our no our numbers on the hash mark, not in the spaces. Man, it's a classic mix mistake for our students to um, record those numbers or put the numbers in the spaces instead of the hash marks. So, if the student was to say, "All right, let's do one comma three, we want them to practice recording it in the the list in coordinate pairs, but we also want them to practice plotting the point right here, one, three. So we want both. We want to see them writing it in coordinate pairs, and we also want to see them plotting the point in the grid. And that wraps up a fun one. Fifth grade, module six, lesson four. We're playing games to practice naming the points and plotting those points.